Hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. I'm excited to share this episode with you, which is our family's meatloaf. I don't take credit for this recipe. Uh, it comes from my mom. And so let's get started. We have a pound of ground beef, okay? And I've salt and peppered this ground beef already. And I also use uh, a blast of Emerald's um, Lagasse's Essence of Emerald or Rustic Rub, which you can get in his book on Food Network or even on our blog, we have a video of this. But this has a lot of different spices, it's got cayenne, garlic, salt, garlic powder, etc, etc. So we want, we want that in here. And then we're going to add in our about a half of a green bell pepper, okay, that's been just diced up, okay. Uh, a half of a red onion as well, okay. Uh, some parsley, some fresh Italian parsley. You want to put that in there as well some, for some freshness. I uh, added garlic to this recipe. If you don't like it, then don't add it. This is some fresh chopped garlic, garlic okay, in here. And then I've got two slices of bacon that I just chopped that um, left over from breakfast that I've just chopped up to put in here. This will keep the meat moist, okay. And I almost forgot milk, so just milk. Remember that, okay. So then uh, I've got salt and pepper in here already. I've got some spices in here already. I've got all the veggies in here. And so I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay. I'm going to add in some Worcestershire. I think that with any type of beef, or even, even when I'm using ground turkey, I use uh, Worcestershire. Um, it's got anchovies and garlic in it. So it's got the salt and then the garlic flavor in here already. So that adds extra flavor to it. And then I like to add in a little bit more paprika, a little more garlic powder, okay, and a little bit of onion powder, just so the beef has extra flavor, all right. And then, oh, and then one other thing too, this is the mix, um, this is just uh, some brown sugar, some ketchup, some mustard, some Worcestershire, some Tabasco, and um, some tomato paste, okay, and some uh, tomato sauce. A half can of tomato paste and a full can of an eight ounce tomato sauce, okay, is in here. Okay, so I'm gonna add about two, or about three to four tablespoons in here. I think that it adds, keeps the, the meat mixture moist, okay? Okay, I'm also gonna add, I have two eggs. I'm gonna start by adding one egg, okay, because I don't wanna get this I want to have the right consistency, right? And I've got about a half a package of saltine crackers that I've just crushed up in the bag itself, okay? The oven should be preheated for 350, and then you need a, you can do this either, you can just do this by, by uh, making a loaf, okay, and putting it in a jelly roll pan that's lipped, it has a lip on it so that it doesn't, juices don't come off, or you can put it in um, a tin like this, okay? And I've got it uh, greased. And I've also got two slices of white bread at the bottom just because I like it to soak up the fat. That way I just discard these as I'm slicing it. Just to save, just a way to you know, save a little calories. It's not that big of a deal, but that's just optional. I think I learned that from Paula Dean. Okay, so now I'm just going to get my hands involved in this. I think I have everything in here that I want. So I want it to be the right consistency. Okay. So you don't want it too wet or too dry, right? You want a good, a good combination. And you can start smelling it. It smells fantastic already. And then what I'm going to do, once I get it in the pan, I'm going to top it with that sauce. That brown sugar, mustard, ketchup, um, tomato paste, um, I think I put some Tabasco sauce in there too, and also some Worcestershire, okay? So it's coming to the right consistency. I don't think I'm going to need to add the other egg, okay? It's coming to the right consistency that I want. Yeah, I don't need to add that egg, okay? So I'm using one egg. I'm going to put it right here in the loaf pan. And then I'm going to press it down. What I like to do is I like to, to keep a lip around it, kind of, and and then and I'll show you what I'm doing here because I like to have that sauce. I like to have that sauce sitting on the top there, 
doing its thing, right? I like that. So I want to keep that sauce in there as much as possible. So like I'm making a pool here, really. Okay, and it'll it'll cook. It'll end up cooking evenly because it'll. It's like the hamburger trick. Put the indention in the hamburger. Okay, so we do that. Simple, and then we spoon on the sauce. All right. So check this out. All right. So check that out. We'll bake this up at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll let it cool for about 15 minutes, and then we'll slice it up, and then if we have any leftovers, we'll use to make sandwiches with it uh, probably tomorrow. So hey, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Real Food Blog from our family to yours. Thank you for watching Real Food Blog. We'll see you next time.